Anastasia, the fantastic preps team, obviously education and public programs, marketing and communications, development department. It really has involved all of us together. And uh, it's a great honor and pleasure to uh, welcome you to this walkthrough. So, I'll turn the I did. Well, a big thank you to Anastasia work from the beginning uh, in consultation with Tim on uh, the installation of the show. I think it's one of the, if not the greatest, one of the greatest ever at our museum. Uh, we're excited about the show. It's up through October 28th. We have about a thousand people who are asking for tomorrow night's opening. Wow. And we hope to illuminate and uh, bring wisdom and joy and insight uh, to thousands and thousands of people uh, during the run of the show. So uh, perhaps we can, um, should we, should we have, would you like to give a little intro to the show? Would you like Jan and Tim to, to, to talk? Okay, so Jan and Tim, please give us your, uh, your overview of your thesis about the show in San Francisco and what's the most important thing? And if we can take Keep face with him. Well, what was important yeah. thing is that you get an insight into a thought of yeah, something that you okay. didn't know yet. I suppose you know most of his films, but you may not know that making these films was almost like, how uh, should I put it, like a young man falling in love uh, with a tremendous passion. Because that is a, uh, a necessity for an artist to lift something. And uh, it is really the impression you take away from his films that is essential, not necessarily whether everything is logical. I mean, he is like a painter, he is like a composer, like a novelist, and you have to extract your own impression. And uh, it is so interesting for me to see that his films uh, run differently in different countries. In some countries, they are really flawed. In the next century, it's a huge success. Uh, I was just quoting somebody this morning, um, uh, a uh, fax I got from the Warner Brothers office in Tokyo uh, after I saw a chat. And it says that the, the manager there said, oh, it's amazing what this film is doing. Couples are leaving the cinema holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, you, you, you never know. Uh, and on the other hand, in other countries, it didn't work at all because the film is incredibly complicated. It works on three levels, and so well, there we are. But you know, you should never explain your art. It should work by itself. And um, I have many discussions with Stanley um, about what, what, the, the, what is the price of art. And it's really true. The price of art is to fall in love with it. Because if you don't, you never own it. But if you do, it's free. <laughs> <laughs> so the moment you fall in love with the painting, that's the moment. Transfer, transfer ownership to you. And the same is true in a novel, for music, for film. So be totally open and be aware that uh, this is not just a filmmaker, but it's an artist who expresses things differently. And if you, uh, for the first time, see Romeo and Juliet, uh, you don't say, oh, well, it really doesn't make any sense. I mean, they meet the next morning, they're married by a priest, give me a break. <laughs> Oh my God. Every time it 
it's new. Every time it has to be fresh, because every circumstance is different. And uh, I find it exciting how such a professional like Tim, uh, together with the local people, like in this case Anastasia, can get, manage to, to always never complain about circumstances, but use the circumstances and make the best of it. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What would uh, these are the people uh, who tour? Yeah, the students and yeah, other people. Yeah, I mean, just me briefly mentioning the background can, of the project. Just, I'm sorry, to, can we, maybe there are a lot of people in the back who yeah. can't see or hear. Maybe we can just reconfigure where we're gathered for this next part, so they can. Can we invite? Can we go in the first I think, gallery? Great, I think. perfect. Thank you. Okay. At least we can all be in the same space. Okay, now we're all in the right spot. Everybody can hear Tim and see him. Yeah, I'd like to take up Jan's point and especially uh, give the thanks of the Film Museum to Lori, to Rennie, and to Anastasia because without the interest coming from local institutions, uh, we would never have a chance to continue the tour um, in a way we are, we are doing it. Uh, mentioning the background story, uh, it was in 2003 that we first had a chance to access the uh, so far unaccessible personal estate of Stanley Kubrick and some albums. And uh, an archivist of the film museum was sifting through um, Stanley Kubrick's records for a period of eight months and he brought up like thousands and thousands of elements, filing them up, putting them into a database and sending them to the curatorial team in Frankfurt and what we see in the exhibition is the selection of those materials and um, the materials cover uh, well, a professional career of Stanley Kubrick starting with his early photographies in the 19 around 1945 and ending with uh, him editing on Eyes Wide Shut in 1999. And uh, the material comprises um, exhibits which relate to almost each and every aspect of filmmaking that you can think of from originating ideas, screenplay, um, research, pre-production, production until release, marketing, dis distribu distribution matters. So, and in each section you'll find a sort of interplay between personal records, uh, correspondence, screenplay annotations, scripts, and yeah, more oratic objects like costumes, props, um, posters, photographs, and this all forms for us a tribute to one of the greatest uh, visual artists of the 20th century, and it, it allows the visitors to yeah, catch a glimpse of uh, like the vision behind. Um, we, we like to say it's also like a glimpse into the workshop of an artist here. Because the real art happens only on the screen, so it's essential, I think, to always direct the visitors also to the related film series that's going on here. Thank so you. we're going to walk through the exhibition. We're going to kind of treat it in a question and answer format. Um, we'll lead the way through and if anyone has questions in each section just raise your hand and one of us will answer them. Ready? <laughs> and the lighting is not done, so it's Take a while to hurt everybody. 